Hello everyone, welcome back with the new video. In the previous video, we have learned how to install multiple smart contracts on the same channel. So sometimes the, the, there is a requirement to share the data between this smart contract or maybe communication between this different smart contract. So how exactly it done? So before that, I want to explicitly mention make sure that you are running this all the steps and you are able to do it because without that we won't be able to proceed with these sections like communication between these two different smart contracts and in the previous last three to four videos we have already covered how to create the network how to create a channel deploying the smart contract writing the api invoking the transactions and getting the data so these steps we have already covered on the top of that we have installed two smart contracts on the same channel so that part is already there our api server is already running i'm assuming you guys also have the same things i'm not going to cover that all the things again in this video so i'm just proceeding from the last point like we have already our network up and running we can invoke the transaction with our network we can create it uh, transactions on the document cc or the fab card these are the two smart contracts we can create invoke the transactions and in this video we will be covering how uh, we have two smart contracts on the network and especially this my channel first one is the fabcar second one is the document cc so how these smart contracts can communicate with each other so let's jump into the vs code again here i am considering our network is already up and running so make sure that you also have the same things otherwise you won't be able to proceed with this yeah uh, so let's jump into the fabcar smart contract fabcar.go this is the smart contract okay so in this smart contract at the bottom you can see there is get document using car contract so we are going to get a document data document cc data using car contract this is the fabcar contract and we are getting a document id for this document id we are just trying to fetch data from the document smart contract again it's totally up to you to do the uh, do the necessary business logic here as per your business use case or requirement i am just letting you know how we can access the data or maybe create the data from here from one smart contract to other smart contract we don't need to do it from the api directly i mean from the for invoking the transaction or maybe uh, doing anything from the smart contract we are going to do it from the api but we for invoking the other smart contract from the one smart contract we don't require to go to the api just we can just invoke it from here only in case if we have a proper policy uh, access here you can see we are getting a document id we are just checking if it is not equal to null or some um, we are getting something here we are i'm just created the params convert created one array object string get document by id this is the method which is available inside the document cc this method we are going to trigger you can just get it as a param as well in case if you want uh, just i want to let you know how we can access these things like maybe you can more uh, make this chain code more uh, robust or smart uh, smarter than this like getting these parameters automatically from this uh, functions parameters but right now i'm just hard coded this and in the test.go that is just a document cc it's having one method get document by id okay this method we just return uh, getting the the document and just returning that document okay so how we can access that here we just created the params again i'm creating the arguments that is the array byte and later on i'm just passing that arguments query arguments in this function so context dot gate stub invoke uh, chain code so in the gate stub that is the sim interface just let me show you one more time in the same interface we have chain code stub interface and in the chain code stub interface we have again that method invoke chain code maybe at the bottom these are all the methods already available you can just explore this part in case if you want yeah this method 
invoke chain core is the method we can just invoke the other smart contract from one so here we have to pass these three things chain code name arguments and the channel name so in case if your smart contract is installed on the different channel that also we can access it from the here in case if you have proper access so here right now i am just passing the test cc which is wrong instead we should have document cc yeah so again i will install this chain code uh, one more time and i will show you here just make sure that provide the proper chain code name uh, so context dot get stub in no chain code document cc this is the chain code name this is the these are the query arguments we are just creating from here and this is the channel name my channel and what are the response we are getting just i am passing the payload and returning to the api so it means let's assume that we are invoking this method from the fabcar smart contract get contract using co car contract get document using car contract so here we are just passing the document id so in the car contract we are just trying to fetch the document data from here using this invoke chain code method so this invoke chain code method is just returning the data and here in at the api side we will get this data so let's try this our chain codes are already installed on the network and we can just add some data document uh, just let's create one new document here add document just add document 2 right now we don't have anything for the id 2 i'm just invoking the transactions and let's confirm on the ui as well uh, cause db ui yes we how to log in again and again here actually okay so this document cc we have this two just we have added right id2 so this data will try to fetch it from the fab car so right now we have added this data using document cc but while fetching the data what are the things required the, this is just a state forward so i have one api here cross contact data 2 so here what we are doing we are just passing the arguments and the function name these are the two things required right for invoking the fab car so for the fab car at the invoke.js let me show you one thing invoke.js this is not the invoke.js actually query.js because we are just fetching the data right so here we have this commented part so this is the method get document using car contract we are just passing it with argument necessary argument for the document id 1 is required so because we are going to fetch data document data for the id 1 using fabcar so this change i have already added here so let's invoke the tran transactions and try to fetch data from fabcar here this function we are passing the fabcar is the smart contract i'm just triggering this function get document using car contract so for this one we have some data let's see if we're getting the exactly same one yeah so this data let's check for the id one we have one and two so for the one let's check the data this is the data and this is exactly same as what response we got in the postman so even for the id2 as well we can get the data this i'm sending it yeah here you can see for the id2 even though we while adding the data we didn't change anything but you can just try you can play with these apis to adding different data or something but uh, for this id2 we have added this kind of data so that's how we are getting this data so in this way so we are able to invoke one smart contract from the other and for creating as well we can do the same things like i have already added here this function so you can just take this as assignment and so make sure that you complete this part because generally what happens 
sometimes we want to add some data from one smart contract to the other like in the same scenario here from the fab car let's assume that if you want to create a document from the smart contract for that car so in that case it is required to invoke that smart contract from here so this is the method for creating the document like we are getting the function of which function we want to trigger and this is the document data so function name would be the create documents and the document data would be the buffer array so again we are creating the exactly same thing like query parameters and after that we are just invoking context dot get stuff invoke transactions providing the test cc again this should be a document cc so maybe previously i was playing around with this and later we have changed this document cc from test cc that's why test cc is still there but later on when we clone this repo it, uh, there would be a document cc only this query arguments and the my channel so whatever the response you want to send it you can just do it or maybe you can just make according changes as per your requirement because sometimes you require something else uh, as per your business use case and you can just add a logic here the logic it's up to you i am just trying to letting you know that how we can uh, invoke the transactions from one smart contract to other and we can get data from other smart contract in case if you're facing any kind of issue just let me know in the comments section or maybe you can just directly dm me on the instagram i will uh, add all my links in the youtube description thank you so much for watching stay tuned for the more update